Thank you, guys. Uh, I promised to Mr. CEO that I will uh, come here completely geared up. And also, I have found out that the presentation will be in, in English. So I will squeeze uh, my uh, English, uh, my English knowledge is uh, uh, my Romanian thinking because I wrote a book. Uh, I, I formulated the, the, some very nice Romanian words, but now I have to, to twist them. So thank you for having me here. The first, I will start with a question, of course. Do you still believe in stories? Oh, then I'm in the right place. <laughs> Today I'm going to talk about, uh, about stories, about um, how uh, a trip uh, made me to realize what's most important in my life. And also we're going to speak about uh, what does this have in common with the accelerator. Yeah, so follow me for 15, no. 14 minutes, I understand, <laughs> uh, on a trip in uh, South America with, with a motorcycle. Until we gear up, I will tell you a few words about me. So I do motorcycling, I do kite surf, I do free ride snowboarding. I did a round the world trip with a backpack. I was with my motorcycle until Egypt and back, as you see. Okay, and in the meantime, I realized to be 13 years in the corporate world. The last nine were in banking, where I developed and uh, together with Bogdan, hi Bogdan, uh, the digital part of the of the banking. Then I became a coach. Then I travel in islands, trying to find my soul in ashrams. Then, okay, shortly today I'm wearing the hat of a mentor of Innovix BCR Accelerator. Yeah, so in everybody in everybody's time. It is a, a moment when you decide to write uh, your own story. This was my zero moment when uh, it was 30 minutes after I found out somehow that we, I cannot manage to continue with the bank management in the same boat. So this is the zero moment when I decided to, to write my own story. But I didn't go and rush for another job or for another business. I let the life to show me I let life to show me which will be my story. So I started the trip in South America with a motorcycle. You can see the motorcycle here, Yamaha, it's outside. It's another model. As you see, very lightly packed. The luggage is until, until here. Huge mistake. And uh, you needed at least two person to get out of the main uh, stand. Pozele nu sunt întregi, sunt cropate. Yeah, 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 okay. Okay, so th there are not the right pictures, full-size pictures. Okay, so I decided to go from south of Brazil, then until to Ushuaia, and then go north to the Caribbean, uh, Caribbean uh, Sea. And uh, in Argentina, I crossed the desert. This is a cow. One day, dead cow, because it was a desert. This is how uh, it looks like. When I stopped to make the picture, I was myself, and I decided not to become a partner of the cow, so I have to go. And, uh, uh, but also in the desert, I found out uh, about a very beautiful story, which is these guys, they are from UK, the teachers, they gathered for some, some money for two years, and they bought a tuk-tuk, wrote on it uh, round the world promoting education, and guess what? They were doing round the world trip promoting education for one and a half years. So I met them in the last leg of their trip, and they were... <laughs> after one year and a half promoting education in the poor communities. So if somehow it's like an Innovix accelerator on three wheels, guys. Yeah, they promote, they do good stuff. Okay. Then <laughs> I, uh, I, continue, I continue the, the trip south. When I go out from the desert, I get the, the glaciers when you have to properly gear, gear up. Yeah. And uh, after that, after I reach to Ushuaia. Uh, where uh, uh, is the, 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 the end of the world? Actually, the end of the world is not <laughs> and will not come. Uh, but here I find a friend of mine who became the first mentor of my trip. It's about Emil Rakovica, a Romanian biologist, who was here before me with 100 and something years before me with a boat with pânze, nu știu cum îmi vine acum, că trebuie să mă încadrez în timp. <laughs> with sales, thank you. 
Yeah, so he did a trip of three years. Out of each one year, more than one year was stuck in an ice, just staying and uh, doing some, uh, some researches. And he adventured himself like all entrepreneurs in unknown waters. So thank you, Emil, for that. I continue north to, and try to balance all my experiences. Yeah, because a lot of what was happening outside of me and inside of in me also. And I met this guy. By the way, I have many pictures, many stories and pictures, not pictures, many stories in my book, but I point out some, some, some stories here. Do you notice something different at this guy? The leg, left leg. Actually, after talking with him, he, this guy is around 60 years old. He was coming from Alaska with the same Yamaha, Tenere, like me. And after we debate a little bit, he, I told him about, I'm sorry about your leg that you do like this. And he said, actually, you, uh, not, I'm very lucky because I don't feel the cold. Why? Because I don't have a leg. It's a prothesis, you know? So that guy was riding his motorcycle all the way from Alaska, having one leg. The other was, was, was a prosthetic uh, thing. So <laughs> it was really cold <laughs> in this part, and he encouraged me also to continue. He lost his leg uh, when he was 25 years old. And this kind of stories gave me energy to push on, like all the entrepreneurs from this room. So when you realize that you need more batteries, please read. <laughs> There are some real stories that they continue to fight to fight. So I continue north, and it's, this is a, another guy who, who I met, and it's another mentor of mine. Uh, this guy is a Brazilian, Tiago Berto. Um, the story of this guy is like this. A few years, more years ago, his life was not going so well. He, he is having a wife and two kids, two years and four years old, both, and realized that actually his life is so is, is boring. So he decided to find the uh, meaning in life, to find and define his new story. So what he da did, uh, he sold everything that he has, businesses, cars, houses, and then put all, all the money, where is Alpha Block? In the investments, in order to ensure all the expenses for his family and kids and also education until they were 18 years old. And he left in the world by himself with a backpack. Here he's smiling because five years after, he, after traveling all the world, he find the meaning for him of his life, which is education, like Inovix. And he opened the largest and the biggest and the most beautiful alternative education school is in Brazil. It's called AINI, you can check it. So thank you, Tiabo, for also having, uh, sh sharing with me your, your knowledge. The really nice guy, the full story is in the book. Of course, shit happens. I uh, managed to cheat death at least three times. Here I fell with a motorcycle from more than 100 kilometers per hour. I was lucky, that's why I wear another suit, not the one from the trip, because that was fully damaged, but, it's worth it because I reached to uni. Is the world flat as a, a, a dessert? Dessert. I'm thinking of dessert. <laughs> uh, salt dessert. Yes, the biggest I think in the world. It's 400 kilometers uh, the diameter. Here, these are real pictures. In the wet season, you cannot you cannot tell which is the sky, which is the the ground. Like this, only gravity lets you know that you are standing with the, with the legs uh, on the ground. And also with some friends. And there are moments like an entrepreneur life when you feel that you are invincible and you are, the, you are God. Actually, this was my moment in the trip. And of course, I pay a visit to my friends in Amazon to say and to listen to their story also. They are okay. Everything is good. And... Um, I crossed Ecuador and then I come to Colombia. My motorcycle was worth $18,000. This in Colombia means that you are almost dead because it's a huge price and they hunt you like, <laughs> like, like flies, you know? So that's why I decided to sell my bike and buy the most popular bike in Colombia. It's a pizza delivery bike, 125 cc. And I can say that for the first time in my, in my trip, I was relaxed. 
because nothing happened. Here, this is a normal landscape. Um, mine was bigger than theirs, so size matters, yeah. <laughs> So, but it's very safe in Colombia, and they were very, very happy to see tourists, not tourists that were coming to see their country. So, this is the somehow the end of the trip. As you realize, the amount of luggages are less than I started, and after nine months and 32,000 kilometers, I had a very nice reception in uh, on uh, Romanian um, uh, airport. Yeah, but. Uh, coming back to the um, first, uh, first, first question, which is the meaning of, of life, in my, in my, my answer to that is that all in life that counts, it's the story. It's the story not that society made, not that other friends or your family write, wrote for you, it's the story that actually you wrote it with your head, and also um, your story it's about how you see your life. It's the same like in business, because also in business you, you make the giant step from thoughts to facts, and you want to put your, 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 your thoughts in, in, in action. And this is the most, uh, m the, most, the most beautiful way to show that you are alive, to express yourself in a business. So congratulations for all, all entrepreneurs from these rooms from this room. So, uh, as I told, the story uh, is your business and the business is your story. In Romania, sounds more beautiful. Povestea este afacerea, afacerea este povestea ta. And actually, uh, I can say that, uh, and you know for sure that, uh, that, uh, um, that in your business you can uh, show your heart, you can show your, the way you see, the li you see life, you can see how, how you are thinking and which are your values. And as a mentor in this accelerator, together with the, uh, Mr. CEO and uh, the other uh, mentors from the, from the team, hello Bogdan, okay, uh, we uh, encourage people to write their own stories. We encourage not to rewrite, we do not rewrite the story, we help them we support them to write the story better, to be more profitable, and um, to express themselves through a business. But I want to share with you also a secret, because not only all the members from the, from the Accelerator, but also the BCR team, they are also like entrepreneurs, they are beautiful, yes, they are smart, <laughs> they are, and we are actually optimistic, like every entrepreneur and entrepreneur and we also think that the best way that we can change the world is to actually do something yes to make that giant step from thought to 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 action so we are in the same boat mentor bcr entrepreneurs and everything and we all want to change this world and to make it a better place um, so that I, I have presented mentors, I have presented the accelerator, so if you know the answer of your question, which is your story, and it, if you want to put it, uh, in, to transform it in facts, I strongly recommend you to, to take Innovix as a partner in writing your story. Thank you very much. <laughs> it, it, you really, you really deserve it. I mean, it's really inspiring. <laughs> ah, this will be the second one. Okay, so thank you very much, uh, Sergio. I'm really proud and honored to be a colleague uh, of you in Innovix, and uh, I hope we all share the same, Woo! the same thing. Yeah! Uh, you can.